Hi, I'm Michelle from Morley Libraries Adult and Teen Services with another Book Bite. My book selection is called The Midnight Library. It's by Matt Haig and it was released in 2020, so it's a very new book. We do have it on the shelf at Morley and it is available through Clevenet. I think it's going to be a very popular book. It's something of a a story that you'll hear often at this time of year at the holidays. It's not a Christmas book, but you're going to recognize the theme if you read it. And I hope as you listen to my, my bite here. Um, Nora is the protagonist and she's 27 years old and she lives a totally unuseful, unwanted, unneeded life. There's nothing about Nora that anybody needs to deal with. Nobody has any reason to even contact her or interact with her at this point. Some things have happened in the past week that have, have just illustrated to Nora how desperately unneeded she is, and she is filled with regrets. She made choices in her life that led her to this place of being nearly invisible in her mind. And she is filled with regrets and despair and loneliness and depression. And she decides to end her life. And indeed she does end her life. But she wakes up not quite dead and not quite alive. She wakes up in a very green, green library filled with trees and rows and rows and aisles and shelves of books, all green, different shades of green. Each book is covered in green. She's very puzzled, obviously, what is this? And then next she noticed that there's someone there and that person is her grade school librarian, Mrs. Elm. And Mrs. Elm is there to guide her through this exercise to help her find a life that she would like. She goes through her book of life regrets and it's huge. She regrets everything she's done. Mrs. Elm tells her that all she needs to do is choose a book, any book, and it will take her to a different life. She'll be the same person, but she will have changed an action that led to her regret. She wants to do this, so she does. She's able to ch try as many lives as she wants, and she goes through quite a few. Some are immense changes in a life that she lived. Uh, in one, she's a rock star. Uh, in one, she's an Olympic athlete. Uh, others are minor changes, uh, which lead to a, a similar life, but a better life. Some lead to worse lives. She goes on this journey and spends a great deal of time evaluating why she made the decision she made that she wants to change. If you sense the theme here, we're talking about, if only I had changed this, then life would have been better for everybody around me. But as it is, I need to leave because I've made everyone else miserable. The story ends similar to the theme that you've heard before, but it's a really wacky and imaginative retelling of that story that we're watching the movie of all this, this season. Um, it's the Jimmy Stewart uh, wonderful life story, but really well told really interesting and I think appropriate for our times, especially in times right now where people are are at home and evaluating what's going on with them. I hope you enjoy this book and I'll be with you again for another book bite. Thanks for listening.